Trinidad has some of the worst crime rates in the world. And when I flew out to Port of Spain to meet Jehu Gordon, a young Trinidadian hurdler, he told me how a few of the people he grew up with are either in prison or dead. Jehu is now a vital role model for the next generation. Every morning and every evening from now until London 2012, you'll find Jehu Gordon doing this. Jehu is a 400 meter hurdler, one of the best young athletes Trinidad and Tobago has produced. And he only has one thing on his mind. Just thinking about the Olympics alone, you know, it, amazing pictures come to my head. No, I'm not happy with just making the final because I want to get that medal. I want to get that gold medal. The people who know Jehu Gordon best say that he was born special. And that's in keeping with how a lot of sports people will refer to themselves. They'll put a lot of their success down to their genes. But if Jehu wins in London 2012, it'll have a lot more to do with his own hard work. In recent years, Trinidadian society has faced the twin spectres of poverty and crime. Scenes like this, a short walk from his training ground, are not uncommon. Many of Jehu's school friends have been caught up in the violence. I know a lot, a lot, and some have died already. In violence, I mean, or? In, in crime, in crime. You know, shootouts, some are in jail. You know, some have made children who are even younger than me. So really, it's really a sad sight to see. Jehu believes that his sport and a strong faith in God offer him and his friends an alternative to a life of crime. It's a lead that those around Jehu hope others will follow. They take that from him, they see that if I want something, I have to work hard for it. I can't just get it and it falls in my lap. So for the ones who are really taking it seriously, they go to practices, but they also concentrate on the academics. And that's what Jehu has done for the school to some extent. You don't have to limit yourself because of the situation that you're in. You know, if you grow up from any ghetto, that don't mean you have to be, you know, doing things like you're from the ghetto. Or well, most people who are into sports are actually some that came out of the ghetto and they're actually some of the best people today in society. This young man knows that Trinidad could do with some new heroes and he's dedicating every minute to making his family and his country proud. <laughs> 